before we get started on guided example 6, okay, we will need to know and we are going to recap how the sine curve and cosine curve will look like. Before we do that, you must take note that all sine curve and cosine curve can be represented in the form A sine Bx plus C as well as A cosine Bx plus C. Okay, what does A tell us? It will tell us the amplitude of the curve itself, which is telling us the maximum as well as the minimum value. Similarly, what does B tell us? B in this case will be the coefficient of x. It will allow us to know the number of complete cycle in 360 degree or 2 pi. C will indicate to us whether the graph will shift up or shift down. C being positive, the whole graph will shift up by C number of units. If C is negative, the whole graph will shift down by C number of units. More importantly, you also need to be aware of period. What does period tell us? It's the total amount of degree that is required for one complete cycle in sine or cosine curve. With that, let us move on to the sketching. Okay, before you want to do sketching, you must always tell yourself that you need to split your curve into four quadrants. I'll use a sine curve to do a simple example. If I want to sketch a sine curve, where my sine curve, the period is 360 degrees, I must make sure I split my x-axis or horizontal axis into four different portions. Sine curve will always start from zero. All right? Now, if let's say the amplitude is two and negative two respectively, please make sure you indicate it start from zero, move up to maximum, go back to zero, minimum, as well as zero again. Plot the points. You can indicate your points by a cross or a small dot before you join your curve together. It must be a smooth curve. And this is how a sine curve will look like. Similarly, cosine curve. If my period now is actually pi, which is synonymous with 180 degree, and I want my period to be pi, it means that within pi, there will be one complete cycle for cosine here now. Taking my amplitude to be 3, okay, I want to sketch the curve of y, is equal to 3 cosine 2x. So now, same thing. Please split into four different portions. Cosine will always start with the maximum value. Go back to zero, minimum value, back to zero and maximum value. Now, same thing. Please join all the points together and this is how your cosine curve will look like of course you must also take note whether there will be any constant value you need to add to so that you need to shift the number of units up or down with that we are ready to tackle the question six over here take a look at your question part one state the amplitude is very straightforward your choice is as good as mine the amplitude in this case would be 5. Take note, your amplitude will always be an absolute value. So even if you have a 2 minus 5 sine 3x, the amplitude will still be 5 because it tells you the magnitude, which is the length itself. The period, if you remember the formula, since our answers are in terms of degree, it must be 360 divided by b. And b in this case is 3. So what it is telling you that you would have you will need to use 120 degree to have one complete cycle. So now, we are ready to tackle part two. Okay, the good thing about the period is you need to make sure you have 120 degree to divide your four portions. So this is what I'm going to do. All right, I have 120 degree. I'm going to divide into four portions. Why? Because this is my first full oscillation. Similarly, I need to go up to 180, which I'll continue later. 
So from 120 to 180, you will have another half a cycle to complete. Okay, I do not want to be ambitious first. All right, I'm going to sketch the curve y is equal to fine sine 3x. Since the magnitude is 5, you can tell me my maximum will be 5, my minimum will be negative 5. Okay, and this is sine curve, so I'm going to start from 0, go to the maximum, go back to 0, minimum, go back to 0, maximum before you go back to 0 again. Now, join all these points together. Okay, if it doesn't look smooth, try it again. This is the curve y is equal to 5 sine 3x. Remember, there is a positive 2 here. What does the pos positive 2 here tells you? It means that the whole graph is going to shift up by another 2 units. So every single point that you indicated just now has to shift up by 2. From 0, it will shift up to 2. From 5, it will shift up to 7. 0 to 2, negative 5 to negative 3. 0 to 2, 5 to 7, back to 2 again. Notice I've indicated all the points with a different color so you can see clearly. After that, please join the points together again. All right, if it's not too small, please try it again. And there you have it. Our curve is done for the sine curve. And please remember to labor. Okay, in the event during exam, you notice you need this. And you're going to draw two different curves. You can use a different colored pen or use a highlighter to state the difference between the two curves. With that, we are done with example 6.